Hi friends, in this video we solve uh, engineering mathematics questions asked in a TRB 2017 EC paper. The first question is the complementary function for the solution of the differential equation 2x squared plus y into y, square, y double dash plus 3x y dash minus 3y minus equal to x cube. This is the question. So the differential equation is 2x squared y double dash plus 3x y dash minus 3y is equal to x cube. So you see the differential equation as coefficient. Uh, what is that? You see it is x squared x. So we can solve this problem by using Cauchy's homogeneous equation. Which is homogeneous equation. In order to solve this, what we have to do, we have to make a following assumption, then only we can solve this problem. What is that is? So, first we have to make x d is equal to d dash, x squared d squared is equal to d dash into d dash minus 1. And another more assumption is x is equal to e power z and z is equal to log x. This implies z is equal to log x. So these are all the assumptions we have to make. So now we substitute this here. So 2 into what is that? You see, this is nothing but this equation I can write as for solving uh, what they ask. They ask only complementary function. So in order to get the complementary function, what I am going to do, I write axillary equation. So axillary equation is 2 instead of x squared, y double dash is nothing but d double, d squared. y dash is nothing but d dash. So x squared double d squared, that is given by d dash into d dash minus 1 plus 3 x y dash x y dash is nothing but d dash x d dash is written as what you called d dash all right so minus 3 y is equal to 0 this is what axillary equation we have to solve this so if you simplify what you get is 2 d dash square minus 2 d dash plus 3d dash minus 3 is equal to 0. So if you simplify what you get is 2d dash squared plus d dash minus 3 equal to 0. If you take a, if you factorize it, what we get is d dash is equal to minus 3 by 2, 3 dash is equal to, or d dash equal to 1. So we have two different equations. So how can I write complementary function? Complementary function is a e power uh, see everything in terms of z now. Earlier when we directly work with y, it will be in terms of x, but now we are working with x d d dash. So everything in terms of z. So a e power minus three by two z plus uh, b e power z so but i want answer in x because the question is in x so we know z is equal to log x right that's what the assumption we need z is equal to log x so substitute that a e power minus 3 by 2 log x plus b e power log x so it will become a e power a e power log x is x so a x minus 3 by 2 plus b a power x so this is what my complementary function so a e power a x e power minus a, a x power minus 3 by 2 b x not a b power x it is e power log x is nothing but x only so it is b x let us see which option is matching so a x a now what I got is uh, I got a x plus uh, sorry a x power minus three by two plus b x I got 
So here I have a x plus b x e power minus m by 2. That is a constant only it is interchanging. So option A is a right answer. Right? Simple problem. Second question. What is wrong with this integration? Let us first solve the integration. So what is that? Minus 1 power 1, 2, 3, 1 by x square dx. So if I integrate what I get as uh, x power minus 2 minus 1, 2, 3 dx. So it is x power minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1, 2, 3. So what I get? It is minus 1 by x, 1, 2, 3. It is minus 1, 2, 3. So it will be minus 1 by 3 minus minus 1. So it is plus. One. that is minus 4 by 3 so I think it is right minus 4 by 3 is right and uh, f of x is continuous at the end point yes if you substitute the value you will get it is continuous at the end points fundamental theorem of calculus can be applied yes applied so what is the only thing wrong the only thing wrong is discontinuity at x is equal to 0 and hence we cannot find so that is the wrong answer so correct answer is this one. So these are all the correct points. The option D is the only wrong point. Okay. So that we have to know. Next question. Um, let us see. For any discrete uh, distribution, standard deviation is, it is not less than mean deviation from the mean. It's a direct question. So option C is the right answer. So no problem. So the root of uh, f of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus 1 lies in. So whenever they ask uh, uh, questions like this with a given interval, we have to substitute. If two roots give positive and negative opposite sign, then that root lies. So first we will substitute f of 1, option A. f of 1 is 1 minus 3 plus 1. So that is negative f of 2 8 uh, minus 12 plus 1 that is also negative so there, there is no change in sign so option a is wrong option b minus 1 is substitute f of minus 1 so minus 1 minus 3 plus 1 is negative f of plus 1 f of 0 0 if you substitute 0 minus 0 plus 1 positive so this is right answer. Okay, let us see. C, 0 and 0 0.5. F of 0. F of 0 positive. Already we told. F of uh, 0.5. 0.5 cube means uh, 0.5 cube 125. So it is 0 0.125. 0 0.5 squared 0 0.25. 0 0.75 plus 1. So 0.9. So positive. F of... So both are positive, so this is not wrong answer, correct answer. D, f of 0 already we got positive, f of 1 already we got negative. So interval change, so this is also right answer. So both are correct answer. In exam you have to substitute whatever you like, right? Okay, next one. Uh, for a differential equation dy by dx x squared minus y is equal to, sorry dy by x squared, x squared y minus 1. Where y of 0 is equal to 1, the value of y at x is equal to 0 0.1 using Taylor series method. Okay, so this is going to some big problem. Let us see. So, differential equation they are given dy by dx is equal to x squared y minus 1, and they are given y of is equal to 1, y of 0 is equal to 1. So, first, what I have to do, I have to know if Taylor series equation. So, Taylor series equation f of x is equal to I told this is a 1 plus, so data C is about x0, right? So I write as x y as 0 plus x squared by 2, y double as 0 plus x cubed by 3, y double as 0, like that it will go. So I have y of 0, so everything I have to find, okay. so what is my y dash as per the problem y dash is equal to x squared y minus 1 right what is y dash of 0 
x is zero if you substitute. What will happen if you substitute x zero? It will become minus one. Next, I find y double dash. If I differentiate this, I will get two x y plus x squared y. So I substitute y double dash zero. I will get zero. Next, I differentiate this one. Y triple dash two x y two y plus two x y dash plus x squared y double dash will come. If I substitute y triple dash zero, what do you get? Is two. Next, I go for y power y fourth differentiation. If I differentiate six y dash plus six y double dash plus x squared y triple dash. If I go that y power four zero, so I don't need to go beyond this. So what I do? I substitute y is equal to one plus x. What is the first thing they are asking? Y plus x y dash of zero. Y dash of zero is nothing but minus one plus x squared by two y double dash of zero zero plus x cube by three factorial two. Plus x power four by four factorial zero. If you simplify, I don't have space. What I do here, I get y is equal to one plus oh, sorry, one minus x plus x cube by three factorial y four. Y4 is minus 6. I should get Y of 4. If you substitute 0, I get minus 6. So if I simplify X power 4 by 4, this is 3. Not I write properly X cube by 3. So what they ask? They ask a value of Y at X is equal to 0.1 y at x is equal to point 0.1 so y i got so this is y right so y at x is equal to point 0.1 if i substitute x equal to point 0.1 what i get is point 0.9 here if substitute x is equal to point 0.1 in this equation i get uh, the answer is point 0.9 so option a is the right answer next one Okay, the derivative of a function f of x is positive or zero in a b without being always right then a in a and b. So this is a direct question from Rolle's theorem. We understand f b must be always greater than f a. Then only we have a continuity. Okay, so that is a direct question. Next, the flux of f the flux f is equal to x z i plus x y j plus y z k outward through the surface of cube cut from the octant by the planes x2 y3 z1 this is what they are asking so flux means we know flux is given by del dot f dv integral v right so first what i need is this is what i have to find first i have to find del dot f so del dot f if i find what i get is del dot f so differentiate with respect to x so it is z differentiate with respect to y it is x differentiate with respect to z this is y so del dot f i found now i substitute here so what i get del dot so that is nothing but x plus y plus z right so x varies from first octant and they are asking x varies from 0 to 2 y varies from 0 to 3 z goes up to up to 1 so x goes to 0 to 3 y goes to 0 to 2 z goes to 0 to 1 is it right z1 x3 x2 y3 x2 y3 Okay, so x two y three. Now d v d v is nothing but d x d y d z. Right now I integrate it. So if I integrate 
z goes to 0 to 1, y goes to 0 to 3. If I integrate x, x squared by 2 plus xy plus xz, where x squared is from 0 to 2. Right? Okay. So if I simplify what I get, z goes to 0 to 1, y goes to 0 to 3, x squared, x2 means 2 by 2, 2. So I substitute here 2 squared by 2. 4 by 2, 2 plus this is 2y plus 2z. So what I get is 2 plus 2y plus 2z, right, into dx dy. Now I differentiate, integrate with respect to uh, y. So z varies from 0 to 1. So it is 2y plus 2y squared by 2 plus 2yz with y ranges from 0 to 3. So now I substitute y 0 to 3, y 0 to 3, if I substitute what I get is z 0 to 1, 2y means 3, 6, y squared 9, 9 by 2, 2, 2, so it is 9 plus 2 into 3, y 6z, so 15 plus 6z. So what I get is 15 plus 6z in the general dz, right? So 15 plus 6z dz means if I integrate what I get as 15z plus 6z squared by 2, 0 to 1, 15 into 1 plus 6 into 1 squared by 2, 18. So the flux passing through the surface is 18. The answer is option A. Right. The next question is given the linear equations, three equations they have given, it has unique solution. So, what are the equations they have given? x plus y plus z is equal to 2, 2x plus y minus z is equal to 3, 3x plus 2y plus kz is equal to 4. Right. Whenever you want about a uh, uh, what you call unique solution, the determinant should not be equal to 0. So let us uh, find the determinant value 1, 1, 1. Write the coefficient, x, y, z coefficient 2, 1, minus 1, 3, 2, k. This should not be equal to 0 means we will have a unique solution. So 1 into k plus 2 minus 1 into 2 k plus 3 plus 1 into 4 minus 3 should not be equal to 0. So this is k plus 2 minus 2k minus 3 plus 1 not be equal to 0. Minus k should not be equal to 0. This means k must not be equal to 0. So the option is option A. Right? So that's all about this session. Thank you.